Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Wiggin' Out with Bobby Z, hosted by me, Bobby Z. Today is going to be a different kind of video. Today is a wig review. Now, I do have a connection with the wholesaler, like I've said before, so in addition to doing my drag wigs right now, I'm going to start selling unstyled lace fronts new with tags in the bag on eBay for $50 a piece, plus medium flat rate shipping, which I believe is $12.35. So... For 65, 30, for 62.35, you're gonna get a brand new lace front wig. These both, both of the styles I'm carrying right now are very, very long. They're about 30 to 32 inches when pulled completely straight. They're about 27 to 29 inches when wavy or curly. I have two different styles in stock right now. I have the holiday, which is more of like a layered kind of curly look, and then I also have the Kim which is a longer, wavier sort of Kim Kardashian kind of look. Because I'm not sure how these things are going to go over. I only bought four of each, um, each in a different color. So if these go over well, I'm, I'll be sure to order more and put more up if they sell like hotcakes, which I'm hoping that they do. These wigs are by a brand called Sepia, which I really love their brand. I use them a lot with my drag wigs, and you can find them a lot at, a, at stores or online. Very popular, and they're very well known. Now, like I said, both of these styles are $50 plus the $12.35 flat rate shipping. So you're paying $62.35 total. Okay, so this is how they come in the bag. They do come with a cardboard ring around them just so that they don't get squished. But I'm shipping them in a USPS flat rate box for $12.35 all over the country. It's the same price. But the box is too small for it to fit in with the cardboard ring. But, you know, they're stuffed. They have a hairnet. They have everything around them. So they're still going to be fine. I ship wigs like this all the time. Don't be worried. And you also get a free wig cap when you buy these wigs from me. So that's a plus. So they come like this. So you're going to take the hairnet off. I can. The hairnets get stuck on the lace a lot of times. And you're going to take the stuffing and the cardboard and the foam out. And then sometimes there's a little, um, this one doesn't have one. Sometimes there's a little silica packet in the wigs as well. Sometimes there aren't. It just depends. So this is her. This is the holiday, which is the curlier version of the two. And this color is a piano 42730 which as you can see is gorgeous. I've used this color wig in shows before. It shows up really well on stage. It makes a really nice golden warm brown. You can see here that the wig is just a ladder back wefts with the lace front just in the front. And also these wigs have a little tiny part area so you can get a more realistic part. You're not gonna see weft right there. So I'm going to put her on now so you guys can see. Okay, so as you can see, the lace is a little dark. Look at the pictures and you'll watch the rest of this video. You'll see that the lace on the blonde ones will look darker, but that's just because the hair is platinum blonde and I am platinum white. <laughs> so yeah, so this is her. Um, I think she's really cute. I love them. I think they're really great. They're very, very long. Um, and so this is curly. It would come below your your boobs, come to there, and then if it's straight, it'll hit about where your waist is. I measured them. They're about 27 inches from front hairline to the back tip of the hair, curly. And if you pull them straight, they're about 31, 32 inches long. So they're long wigs. And the other great thing about them is that they're iron safe. So you can use a curling iron, a blow dryer, and all of that on a medium low heat, and it would be fine. Or you can just steam them like I do. But yeah, as you can see, she's a nice curl pattern to her. She's very pretty. She's not crazy, crazy thick. I mean, that's about all the hair that's in the wig. But... For something just nice and casual or whatever, it's fine. Or for a real girl every day, this is perfect. Um, for a drag queen or a female impersonator, you'd probably want to add some hair to this. Um, but that's just my personal preference. There's so many shake-and-go girls in this world, so I'm sure someone is going to like love this wig and pick it up. And So yeah, I think that this is a really pretty color. Again, this is the P42730, and this is the Holiday. 
Okay, now this is another holiday. This is the color T33 slash 130, which means that it is a 33, which is a dark auburn up here, and then it fades to a 130 on the ends, which is a bright red. It's really, 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 really subtle. It's not a big difference, but I just think that the color of this wig is gorgeous. And I actually placed another order with my company that I order these from. And I bought another one of these in this color for my drag persona, Bernadette Housedown. I do wig, yay! Um, but this one, yeah, this is the three, the 33-130. This is still the holiday. If you guys want to see the hairlines, I'll get close so you guys can see. They have pretty good hairlines. They, um, they're not super thick. They don't have like those crazy, crazy bulky knots. There's actually some space in between them. They're pretty good. Um, if anything, there's not a lot of front to these. That's my one That's my one disclaimer about these wigs is that they don't go back all the way to here. They only have about a quarter to a half inch of front except for the part, which is over here. Um, but besides that, they're wonderful, and I think the hair is really good quality. I love Iron Safe um, hair because you can brush it and you can do so much more to it without it getting frizzy versus a traditional Canacolon or Toycolon fiber. Yeah, so that there she is in the 33-130. This is also a really gorgeous color from them. This is a T27 slash 613, which means that it's a 27 up here, and then the tips are a 613. However, I find that this isn't really a 27. This is more of an 18 or a 22 something that's more of a darker golden blonde versus a strawberry blonde that is a traditional 27, but it's beautiful. I love this color. This is a very good, just natural, casual kind of blonde color without going as severe as a straight 613. So let me show you guys the hairline again. As you can see, I have a big head, so on me, if I keep the laces long, they ripple like that, um, but if you cut them back, they don't. That just is what happens because I have a really, really, big, really, really, really big head. So there's the hairline, as you can see. Looks pretty good. So 27, 613, right here. And here she is in a solid 613. Now, I am ridiculously pale. I am like that guy in the movie Powder. I am white, 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 white. Um, so this lace, obviously, is too dark for me. And especially that this wig is a 613, um, if you're, I just have to advise you guys, if you're going to be buying a wig, one of mine or from anybody else, that's a 613 and it has dark lace. It's kind of really hard to camouflage a lace that's that dark on a light colored wig on a light complected person. I mean, as you can see, my hair is already poking through. There we go. I had to pop it forward a little bit. So as you can see, the, it is dark. Um, but yeah, so this is the 613. I think their their colors are really pretty, um, and they're pretty accurate except for that 27. But my only thing is that when you go this blonde and it has the dark lace, it makes it a lot harder to camouflage. So if you are very, 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 very pasty like me, and you're going to be buying one of these sepia wigs, stay with the darker tones. Even the 27 613 should be fine on you. It's just when you get this blonde... The lace just is too crazy, unless you want to contour with, like, a Sharpie, you know? It's, you know, um, a darker ethnicity and stuff like that, then you'll be fine. Or if you're tan, you'll be fine. Um, just if you're a pale white girl like me, it's not so much. Okay, now this is the Kim. She is a little wavier, not quite as curly, and it also has long layers. I'm pretty sure that they're probably around the same kind of cut. Uh, they are the same length, pretty much. They both have uh, the little parting section, like I showed you before. She has a little part in the front on the side, and then it's just a stretchy machine made back wig. This is the Kim uh, T27 slash 613. I really love the wave pattern of this wig. I think it's gorgeous as it is. It's very Jersey-licious, very um, beachy. You know, it's very modern. It's uh, very Kardashian if you got it like in a darker color, which I have some. Um, 
Yeah, so then this is the hairline on her. Looks good, uh, as you can see. But yeah, I think she's really beautiful. I love this style. If it came in um, that bright red that I really like, I would probably buy it as well. But it doesn't, so yeah. But yeah, this is this is the Kim in a 27, 613. I don't even have all the hair forward. Hold on. There we go. So this is all the hair in the wig. There's nothing behind me. So again, it's not super, super thick, but it gives you a nice natural kind of look. And I just love the curl pattern in it. I think it's just beautiful. And you know, this would be, oh, that's what I'm trying to do. Let me get these guys. And it does have a little shorter layer pieces in the top around your face, which I really like. Gives it that modern kind of look. So, so this is also the Kim. This is a color four which is a medium to dark golden brown. As you can see, there's a lot of warmth in this color. It's beautiful. It just kind of shines brightly. And it, I really like it in a darker tone too because then you can see the curl pattern even more. It kind of pops a little more. Uh, let me pull, the, I didn't pull the hair all over to one side so you guys can see the density of it. So it's not crazy, crazy thick, but it has a lot has a lot of body and movement into it. I really like that about these wigs. They have a lot of movement. And I just think that the the style looks really pretty and the style is very current. I think that this is something that you see girls wear all the time. Just this kind of curl pattern with let me see if I can do it again cuz I did it on the blonde one. I just kind of comb it with my fingers and then I kind of twirl it behind me and then it kind of there we go. Perf. Yeah. So yeah, this is it in the color four, which I think is a very beautiful dark brown. If you're not ready to go quite to a one or a two, which is a dark brown or a black, this is the next step up from there. And I think it's really pretty color. Now this is it in the color two. As you can see, it's a little darker than the four. It's not quite black. It's like a dark, natural, uh, dark, dark brown, almost black, but there's still warmth in it. You can still see a little warmth. Uh, hairline detail, pretty good. Um, the hairlines on these wigs are pretty straight. As you can see, they're kind of like, which is fine. Most wigs have that sort of hairline to them anyway, but you know. Yeah, and then these are long as well. They come down to about your waist. Like I said, when I measured them, they measured about 27 inches curly and then they measured to about 30 32 inches when pulled straight and these are all iron safe no you guys it's not l woods it's just me um this is it in a solid 613 which again is a beautiful beautiful color but the lace is too dark for me to personally wear this color with confidence with a dark lace but um i just think it's i just think it's a beautiful style again i actually think i like this style more than I like the holiday, but um, the holiday came in my pretty, pretty color, so I bought the holiday for myself. But maybe someday they'll get this one in that color too. Yeah, this is what happened to my wig cap after t putting on and taking off all of the wigs. As you can see, I don't have great wig prep hair, and then it does this. So I look like alpha alpha. So hopefully I can kind of can angle my hair back in a place. Probably will have to spray it down a little bit. Anyway, thank you guys for checking me out today and watching the video. I hope you guys got inspired by how pretty these wigs look, and you'll hopefully buy one from me soon. I only have eight in stock right now, one of each color, but I'm certain to order more if they sell well, and I'll also be having other styles and other colors as well if I can start to sell them. So please buy them so other people can buy other styles and everything, please. So yeah, so check me out. 
on eBay. Check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, all of that stuff. All of those links are down in the box below. I don't, I don't like doing all that crap anymore because it takes time. So they're all in the box below that you can click them and they're right there. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you want to see anything in a future Wigging Out with Bobby Z video, or if you just want to say hey or flirt with me or whatever, it's fine. So yeah, send me some love and I'll send you some love right back. Have a good one. Bye.